All right, so a lot of people will ask me about the differences between a fabricator brake and a precision series brake. We have them both running here, and there's a lot, quite a few differences. Some of them are, you know, kind of subtle, maybe not that big of a deal, and some of them are a really big deal. And watching Am Andrew Camerata's uh, last video where he got that press brake kind of prompted me to want to kind of demonstrate that. So on a fabricator brake, and definitely the older mechanical brakes, you really have limited control over the ram speed and what's happening with it. On a precision series brake, you have essentially infinite control over the six phases of a cycle of a bend. And so I'm gonna just demonstrate that here on this machine. So if you have a small part like this, this is 11 gauge, um, small part we want to go fast we want to get this done you know we got we got 700 of them to make today and we can't just be lollygagging around so the first thing is you can control the ram the ram opening height so we have a really low opening height so this thing is going to go about as fast as i can go with it here There's our part, quick little U channel. And so that did not look unsafe. It did not look super crazy fast, but it was fast, you know, it was moving good. So we're not gonna change anything about the settings on this machine. The speed, everything, we're gonna keep it the same, but we're just gonna bend something bigger. Other than changing the uh, top of material and the thickness of material, all the other parameters and settings are the same. So we're gonna go ahead and bend this now. All right, well, you saw the thin aluminum, how easy we could let that down, but really, even if you didn't let it down slow, that's not really a problem. You know, nobody's gonna get killed. This three quarter inch flat bar, let's say we need to put a six inch flange on one end of it, or both ends of it. When we make a 90 degree bend, this is gonna be way up in the air. So obviously slamming back down is an issue. So we have all these variables here that we can control with a very precise level of detail what's happening with the ram. So let's go ahead and bend this and watch the uh, release. All right, well, you saw that, very smooth. Even though we made a mistake right here, we didn't have our support bars and our Allen screws locking this die in. So once it once the pressure was off of it, it kind of let it tilt, but just a good demonstration of not all press brakes are created equal. And so, yep. So that was the five foot, uh, 220 ton fat max brake that we were looking at there doing all that bending on. And then here is the eight foot 330 ton version of it. We just got this one in and the one also going to Jonathan and we got two more coming as well. And you can just look at the 
you know, a height comparison. This is 10 foot, 220 ton, eight foot, 330 ton. Extra thick, beefy ram plate. Disregard this area back here. This is our box storage area. 